KCAL 9 News at 2. Coming up here, he admits he's a dinosaur in Hollywood, but is Dick Clark guilty of age discrimination? Coming up at 2.30, we have the letter he sent to a former colleague who wanted a television job. Uh, Dick Clark, he's worked with a lot of people during his time in Hollywood. Now the television legend finds himself caught in the middle of an ironic lawsuit. We'll explain. American Bandstand made him a television star some decades ago. Today, 74-year-old Dick Clark is accused of age discrimination. Dick Clark, of course, enjoyed television longevity like few producers and hosts before him. But a new lawsuit accuses him of refusing to hire someone just two years older than him. KCAL 9's Jay Jackson's live in Santa Monica. He spoke exclusively with the man who says Clark called him a dinosaur. Jay? Well, Mia, it's safe to say Dick Clark is one of the hardest working men in Hollywood, but at age 74, he's also one of the oldest. Now, one legendary TV producer says that Dick Clark openly discriminates people who are older and more experienced in Hollywood, and he's taking him to court for it. In the world of talk and TV game shows, there are few names more recognized than Ralph Andrews. He has produced shows such as It Takes Two and You Don't Say, and he played a major role in the rise of America's oldest teenager, Dick Clark, the same person Andrews is now suing, alleging age discrimination. I just have never had anybody say, God, I'd like to hire you, but you're just too old. But that's the message Andrews said he got when he received this letter from Dick Clark while trying to get work at Dick Clark Productions in their creative department. A letter that reads, quote, It was good to hear from you, Ralph. This is a tough letter to write. I have great respect and admiration for your accomplishments and wish you success in your desire to, quote, get back to work. The last development guy we hired was 27 years old. Another person who is joining our staff next week is 30. People our age are considered dinosaurs. The business is being run by, quote, the next generation. On a brighter note, Ralph, please know that if any project comes up where we could use your experienced hands, I wouldn't hesitate to call you. Philip Malton is Andrew's attorney. Mr. Clark is not taking himself out of the public eye. Mr. Clark is not, has not stopped working him, his, himself. And for very good reason. He's very good at what he does, and his age is irrelevant. And Mr. Andrews is very good at what he does, perhaps the best. I guess I just got a little overconfident that I thought I could walk in anybody's office and they'd be delighted to have me. Now Andrews hopes to send a message to Hollywood with this lawsuit that ageism, which is an age-old problem in the business, hurts. For me and my family, it's been It's been terrible. I mean, I, I, it, of all the people in the industry, Dick was the last person, I would think, who were the same age, that would say to me, you're too old. As for Clark, we did speak to a, a spokesperson for Dick Clark, and he tells me that Dick Clark Productions' policy is to not make any comments to the media whenever there is pending litigation. Live in Santa Monica, Jay Jackson, KCAL 9 News, Mia Dave back to you in Hollywood. Okay, Jay, thank you for that.